I was working in Austin. My boyfriend, who's now my husband, took me to a StarCraft tournament. I loved it, and I thought that it would be amazing if I got to do that someday. Welcome back to Beyond the Nexus and our preview for the Fall Global Championship. Last time we covered Korea, but this week we're going to look to the rest of the hero's world. Let's get to it. I am JC Gillyweed Gluck, and I am a commentator for Heroes of the Storm. It is pretty unreal, but it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of work, a lot of preparation. Once you get to events, you get to meet people, and you get to talk about the game and the players that you really like, it is the best job. It's so much fun. 9%, I started in March of 2015 with amateur tournaments. Blizzard asked me to start hosting a weekly show called Beyond the Nexus, and I was coming here to California every week. My husband got hired for a job, and then that was the point when we decided we wanted to move to California, and that's what we are currently in the middle of doing. Right after my second event, I got pulled aside with somebody really high up in esports at Blizzard. She said, I really want to see you continue commentating, but I need to see you improve. I really took that to heart, and that's when I kind of revamped how I prepare, and that has very much shaped how I continue to prepare for events today. So for being a commentator, it does entail a lot of preparation for events. There's a lot of spreadsheet work. During the event, I'm also taking notes of how they're playing so that we can build storylines for the teams as we get further on into the tournament. When an underdog team wins and I was commentating that team winning, knowing that I'm a part of that is very fulfilling. There's also another side to it. Somebody sent me a picture of his daughter and said that he loves watching Heroes, but she is a big fan of me and that she had a headset on and was pretending to be me. And that's really amazing to be maybe a role model for young girls who are looking at gaming because when I was growing up, I didn't really have that. Being a female commentator is pretty rare. Fans and even some of my co-commentators have thought that I've gotten events over other people because I'm strictly a female. So that's been kind of one of the struggles that I've dealt with this year. It did bother me, but then I got some really good advice from Carl, my husband, that regardless of if it's true or not, you just have to work on improving yourself anyway. At the third Lone Star Clash that I went to, I was already full-time esports and streaming. I met Anna Prosser Robinson, and we started talking about how we were really enjoying playing Heroes of the Storm. She ended up contacting me a couple of months later, asking if I would be interested in studying with her, and then ended up deciding that it might be really beneficial if people could learn with us along the way. Hello, and welcome to Eye on the Storm. Thank you so much for your patience, everyone. We uh, had to bring Gilly the World Traveler into to the fold as she was on an airplane. Gilly, how are you doing? I'm, I'm a little frazzled, but I'm here and I'm super excited. We decided to have the podcast on Miss Clicks, which is a community dedicated to uplifting women in the geek and gaming scene. Anna has been great in helping to bring me into Miss Clicks and helping me understand the ideals behind it, which now is really important to me too. When I first started commentating, even though I was learning more about the game, I still felt a lot of the times like I didn't belong there, like there was just something off. Anna explained to me that I was feeling imposter syndrome. It's where just because you're different, you can feel like you don't belong. We ended up getting a commentator from Southeast Asia who said, sometimes I just feel like I still don't belong with you guys. And I said, well, I feel the same way about you guys. And he said, wait, why would you think that, Gilly? And I said, because I'm a, the only girl. Regardless of who you are, you can feel imposter syndrome. And it's good to know that as I go into events, if we have somebody new, I try to be very inclusive and make sure to reach out and say that I'm here for you so that they don't feel that way. definitely delivered a lot of dreams for me. When I started commentating, I knew that it wouldn't be for forever. My goal is just to continue to do what makes me happy. And right now, it is commentating Heroes of the Storm. I absolutely adore it. There's a lot of ideas that I have for where I'd like to go, but I'm just along for the ride, and right now, I like commentating.